In August of 2019, Joseph Petruzzi started the Disorderly Product News YouTube channel. Not long after, we began talking and grew a friendship outside of YouTube. Though I never had the privilege to meet him in person, we spoke more frequently than some of my lifelong relationships. A little over a year ago, Joe was diagnosed with diabetes. His health rapidly declined and he disappeared for a while off of YouTube. Just a few weeks ago, he began posting again to his channel, but his return was short-lived. Joe passed away from complications related to his diagnosis on October 27, 2022. His family and friends have reached out to me to share the news of the life that he lived. Joe was a good friend. He was always the first to call if you heard you needed help, and the last to back down if he knew you needed a battle buddy. He shared his victories with all of us, and would always offer to bear the weights of our defeats, even if they weren't his own. And somehow, as a man of many words, his early passing leaves me speechless and without breath. The remainder of this video will be some of my favorite moments that he shared on his YouTube channel, in lieu of flowers, donations to the American Diabetes Association, or the SHARE program are requested by his family. Hear the music! This Here we are on the west side of Chicago in the Austin district. I am walking down the street and oh no, something is impeding my path on the public easement. Hello ma'am, can you give me your name, rank and star number? 13385. I'm an FTO Velasquez for the 15th District. I have never heard somebody sound off so well. Sir, can I get your name, rank, and star number per CPD policy? <laughs> Officer Hollis, EPO, star number 3989. Can I ask you guys to not evade traffic or parking laws absent of an emergency? Can you please back this vehicle up or move this vehicle forward and park it legally? Is that too much to ask so the people of Chicago, the women, the children, the handicapped can get by? Oh my God, look at this. We are creating change in the neighborhood. These might be the two nicest officers I've ever met. Just 20 minutes ago, I almost got tased right around the corner. What do you pull me over for? Seatbelt. Okay. I'll write it down for you. All right. Would you lean over and put it on the seat when I pulled you over? <laughs> huh? I don't answer questions, man. Uh, man, there's nothing you, underneath the seat. When you lean over in the seat, when I pull I, you I, over, I, I went to get my phone. I, you could, I don't know What's that. your you reason for pulling that. me out of the car? I told you, you need a seatbelt on first. Okay, that's okay. so write me a sticker for the okay. seatbelt. And then when you lean over and put something that looks like you're leaning over and put something on the seat, I don't it, know if you're trying okay. to hide a weapon. Well, you need, this is, it has to be a Terry stop. You need to have clear and articulable evidence that, is. that I committed a crime. Okay, what's the evidence of? Leaning because over? You leaning over, leaning over is a crime? I'm patting you down. You're allowed to do a cursory search of my person. It's a down Why is she rentals. searching my car? Why is she? I did I not give her permission to search my car. Me leaning over is not a crime. That's not a, exactly. You don't know. You had that clear you had it, you, you just said that. You just said the magic so words. We don't you don't know. know. Exactly. Right. You don't know. And you need to have clear and articulable evidence. If I am, you need to have clear and articulable evidence. I am. Why is she in my car? Do you have insurance on the car? I'm not. In, why is she in my car? Do you have insurance on the car? Of course I have insurance. Yeah, let me see what you mean. Get out of my car. Don't tell me what to do. Where's the insurance? Okay. You want to see what we did with my phone? Here you go. It's on me, my phone. Okay, good you for no you. You have no right to be in my car. You, you don't know the law. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's you called do. Terry versus Ohio, 1962. No, yeah, okay. President for the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. No, you know what the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution yes, is? Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I do. Tell me what it is. Yeah, I'm not what explaining it is. myself Unreasonable to you. search and seizure. Get the fuck out of my car. Okay. Of course I have insurance on the car. She okay. has no right to be in my car. Because you're breaking you're breaking my constitutional rights. It's in my car. Okay, where in the car? I don't know. I don't know. You pull me over for a seatbelt. A seatbelt. What is it? Six nine nine eight Jurassic, Alvarado. Ask you tell you this. I can't. Seven one one eight. I know. You've been this. As if anybody's been a gentleman here, it's been Jerusalem. I mean, I understand you have. You have. I understand you have to back these guys up, but they were totally out of line, completely out of line. 
I have done nothing wrong. I am a hardworking American. I pay my taxes. I own my own business. To be pulled over for a seatbelt and then she's digging through my car? They're narc officers. They don't pull over people for seatbelts. They pull people over for drugs. Okay, because I'm white in a black neighborhood. That's exactly why they pulled me over. Here's your tickets. You can mail it in. You got your license. I'm not. You, I'm gonna mail those in. Yeah, sure. There you go. Have a great Make sure day. you show up for court. Make sure no, you show you up. Mail it in. Make sure you show up for court. Make sure you show up for court. Make sure you show up for court. I'm a dog with a vicious bite. Once I get on the grind, I gotta eat every cent. Plus, she likes. I'm trying to get this chick to bring the wallet and shit. Matter of fact, we crib that no, dog. No, no, let's stop. I want it all. <laughs> <laughs> it could be shoelaces. They can mandate shoelaces. I'd be telling them, tie your shoes. Don't be coming out here and telling other people to tie their shoes if your shoes aren't tied. Surely your shoes should be tied. If anybody's shoes are going to be tied, surely your shoes should be tied first. If the highest office in the city is constantly tweeting, uh, Instagramming, Facebooking about uh, social distance and all that, but her people, she can't even get the people that work for her uh, 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 to do it, then how could she get to the people that she works for to do it? You dress up like a good junior high school janitor and take orders all day. You're a worker, B. No, I'm not taking any questions. I don't answer questions. No, no questions. No questions. No questions. No questions. No questions. No questions. Get back in the car and search it. Uh, next speaker, Reagan Peabody. That's me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Foreman. You're telling me this officer brandishes a, brandishes a weapon while he was inebriated, yet you're keeping him on the force. That is not a policy of violation. Tucking in your shirt, it's a policy violation. That's a criminal violation. That man should be fired. There was a, a car parked illegally, and then there was a, it was in a nose tow zone, and then there was another car parked across the street that had the orange sticker on it. Do you guys put the orange sticker on? When do you guys put that orange sticker on, and why do you put that orange down the window? The orange sticker is for when we impound the vehicle. So it, it that, so that vehicle's already been impounded or it's going to be impounded? It's in the process. It's in the process, yeah. So that guy's car was getting impounded for parking illegally, yet there was another car parked right across the street. And would that car be subject to being impounded too? I, mean, I can't tell you because I wasn't there and I'm not really sure. But if it was parked illegally? Uh, well, not really. You don't you don't impound a car for being no, parked illegally. No, but you'd give a I ticket. Mean, it depends on the circumstances, definitely. Yeah, it was yes. just it was just in, parked in a no-toe zone. Yes. you give it a ticket, right? Yes. Do you want me to tell you where it's at? Yeah, you can tell me what is that. Oh, where was it at, Joe? It's on 5151 North Milwaukee Avenue. Yeah. 5151 North Milwaukee Avenue. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's a, it's a, you'll see it. It's a police car. It has uh, police plates and it's oh, parked it's in a... Oh, police car, okay. Uh, oh, does that make a difference? No, it doesn't. We would, I mean, have you, if they're on the call, if they... If no, no, it's, it, there was no an emergency. There was no emergency. So, void of an emergency, you cannot evade traffic laws. So, do you give... office? Uh, can I... And can I only need you... Can you identify yourself to me? Absolutely. You know, right? Badge number? 6357. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. So, so would, you, would, you, would you ticket Would you ticket an officer? Another officer? Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what he's doing there. He could be on the call. I can't. Yeah, but if he wasn't, you would. I can't. No, him. you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. Come <laughs> on. That was a hard way of saying no. She wouldn't. Hey, man, you don't bother me. Uh, yeah, I can tell. I can tell I don't bother you. Like, oh, let me uh, refer these cops. And why, so why would you have a problem with that? Why would you have a problem with that? Why would you have a problem with that? I don't. Okay, what's your name, Reagan? Star number. What's your name, Reagan? Star number. What's your name, Star number? Hey, you can come and look at it. Come on over here. Come away. Stay right there. You just told me come over. Stay right there. Stay back. Stay back over there. Thank you. I appreciate it. What is it? Can you give me your name, Reagan? Star number? You engage with me. All right, I got, I got both of them anyways. And then what are you doing? <laughs> I got both of their games. Wait, 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 hold on. Your partner was all tough. He said, come over there when I didn't even fucking blink and came over. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, don't, don't, don't come. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, no, 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 don't come, don't come, don't come over here. Now, my God, I'm not even trying to talk to you. Get away from me, dude. I don't want to talk to you. I have nothing to say to you, bro. Get away from me, dude. Just shut up, dude. I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking to my subscribers. Stop trying to get involved in this, okay? Hey, good, go, good. Congratulations. 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 The way it's going is the Congratulations. Life, life. What is it? What, what is, is it? Where are she? 17146. 5555 five, 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 West Grand Avenue. There you go. 7312. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's thank the number you. to the station. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just stop me. Oh, I'll spit on you. Because your sex looks like Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Take speech classes.
We just ask that uh, the American flag be displayed on all uniforms, uh, properties, and uh, since it is, this is the people's building, we ask that the American flag be uh, displayed. Would you like that back? Or? Uh, you want? No, that's for you. You oh. keep that. Put that in your office. Hang it up at home. Give it to your daughter. I don't know. I, I want you to go back to, to doing your desk. Thank you very much. See, I knew that was going to happen. I just played a... I'm Lieutenant Larry Snell. My man, Larry right. Snell. Yes, I want to report. If you think that you're going to yes, intimidate me with yes, the telephone, with, with the phone, you're sadly if mistaken. If you think you're going to intimidate so me you with your body, report, you're, sad, you're you also sadly mistaken. You're spitting, you're, spitting you're spitting on me. You're spitting on me. You're literally spitting on me. about what our officers are doing out here every single day to protect you. Take, take that to somebody who's intimidated by you. They they jump for you, Snelling. They jump for you, Snelling. I don't. I don't jump for you, Snelling. They do. Oh, okay, Snelling. Okay. These are my people. Teamwork. They're teamwork. We get you. Oh, human beings. We have teamwork. We're all on Team Snelling. Everybody jump aboard Team Snelling. Oh, fucking now he's all swearing. That Snelling's all in his emotions. Acting emotional. Everybody, Snelling said go back to work. Don't worry about me. I saw him. He was over here talking to the people. Uh, it seemed like he was doing a little bit of community relations. This is the west side of Chicago. We're on a very dangerous neighborhood, but I think this is the type of stuff we need. So, I mean, a lot of stuff comes out where they show bad police officers, right? And it would be disingenuous for me to not show good police officers so i saw you smiling with the people i saw you interacting with the people so i just wanted to jump out and say thank you on behalf of chicago because there's too many times where they shine the light and they never show the good officers i appreciate that